Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. We are actually just going to jump right into today's video. I am doing a custom this week for a longtime family friend. We are going to be taking this 90s IKEA bookshelf and painting it to match her grandmother's vintage little side table. As always, we'll start by cleaning. This is the most important step. You wanna make sure you get any dirt, grime, any old furniture oil or polish off of your piece so that your paint will stick. I am using Sunnyside TSP Substitute and just going over it with a microfiber towel. I will then go in with a little scrubby brush to get into all those little turned legs and corners. After that, I do go back and just rinse it off with some clean, clear water. So this had been painted a while back with just some white chalk paint. It was never sealed with anything, so I'm not really worried about getting all of the paint off. I'm using my random orbital sander and just trying to sand out any drips or runs. There's quite a bit of brush strokes on there and just get it all nice and smooth as well as try to sand out um, any scratches or dings. There was quite a few on this. And then I did switch over to my little mouse sander to get on the um, inside sides to smooth all that out as well. I then filled in any little dents or dings with some DAP wood filler and then I sanded it smooth once it was dry. The top of this little table did have quite a bit of damage. It had some seams that you could see were coming through, some cracks. So I mixed up some Bondo and just filled in any imperfections with that. I then used some just regular wood filler on the base and the legs, and once all of that was dry, I sanded the Bondo and the wood filler smooth. I'm going to be painting this a dark color, so instead of using primer, I'm using the aerosol shellac. The reason I'm shellacking this is that this is pine, and it's knotty pine, and knots tend to really bleed on this kind of wood, regardless if it's a dark color or not, so I just wanted to be sure. Also, I used quite a bit of wood filler on both pieces, and wood filler will absorb the paint differently and you'll be able to see the texture of it underneath the paint so this will give me a nice smooth even surface to put the paint on top of. I am using the color Restoration Bronze today by Melange. This is in their new Melange One formula. It's their new all-in-one paint. You guys might have seen a video, um, I think it was in July, where I was testing out the new paint. This formula is a little bit different. It has more of a satin sheen to it, but it goes on really smooth, and I am spraying this with my Home Right Super Finish Max.
So I sprayed about half a coat onto the bookshelf and a full coat onto the table outside, but then the weather changed and it got really windy. So I brought it inside and I brushed the rest of it. And here I am using my zebra fan brush to brush it on. I did a total of, I guess I would say three coats total of this paint. Okay, so I want to show you guys a little hack. This can kind of happen when you're brushing, especially with like a satin finish. You can see right there where the light's hitting it, there's kind of like a little drag mark. And this is just common with satin finishes as they're less forgiving. So what I do is I made a wash of the paint, a very watery wash, and I mixed it all up. So it's like I did like one little spoonful of paint to just a bunch of water mixed it all up and then I took my zebra wedge brush and just painted over the top so that it was a really wet coat. Um, the reason that you get the drag marks is the paint starts to dry and then if you like the edge of your brush goes over it or something that'll happen. But with a wash, since it's so wet, it will just even everything out. And then once that's dry, you can see that that drag mark is no longer there. It has basically been camouflaged in. Okay, and before we get to the final reveal, let's take a look back and remember what we started with, this white chalk painted 90s IKEA bookshelf and the little vintage end table that had um, watermarks, looks like some plants or something had been set on it. And here is the final reveal. Um, let me know what you guys think. This is the second time that I've used the Restoration Bronze color, but the first time that I've used it in the all-in-one formula. Let me know how you guys feel about all-in-one paints. Is it something that you would try in the future? As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.